remind me of college. Yeah, I went to college. Majored in beer. Even then, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. So I did everything. Film was the first thing that made any sense to me, because in film I could do everything I wanted. I could art direct, I could write, I could act, dance if I wanted to. Well, actually, I knew I wanted to be a director when I was 14 and uh, wrote my, and directed my first school play. <laughs> and everyone kept trying to talk me out of it. I'm really disappointed in your work this year, Lee. You haven't finished one single project. But I ran out of money. It seems to me you were too ambitious. Uh, you tried to do too many things. A screenplay, a feature film, uh, book illustrations. You need to focus in on just one small thing instead of running off in 15 different directions at once. Well, I work best that way. Seems not. You haven't done anything. You might not graduate this year. I ran out of money. You took on too much. If you had concentrated on one small project. Lee, I don't think you're cut out for the film industry. But I love film. I'm good at it. Not if you can't get it in the can. I ran out of money. I think you should reconsider your uh, career ambitions. The film industry is a male-dominated arena. You're a pretty young girl. You should consider getting married, having children. Use your creative energies in macrame. <laughs> Or take a course in pottery.
and this. Unfinished quilt. See? Unfinished. Well, at least it's usable. Looks good on video. <laughs> yeah. There's another unfinished quilt. What do you want? You can't go in there. Okay. Oh. Unfinished screenplays. I've got three of those. Here's one. Unfinished screenplay. <laughs> yeah. This. Too many Wednesdays. Unfinished. Huh. Unfinished. 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 Finished. Ha ha ha. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. I can't even make up my mind in what style to paint or what medium. A style to paint or what medium. Style medium. Style medium. Well, they're all very nice, but uh, have you ever tried to figure out what style or medium you'd like to settle on? I mean, these look like they've been done by 20 different people. Well, I, I'm still kind of experimenting and uh, trying to figure out who I am as an artist. Yeah, but uh, if you want to be known as a serious artist, uh, you have to decide what style of paintings you'd like to be known for. I mean, how else are your future collectors going to recognize your work? by my signature. Well, we have just looked at some of the lighter aspects of ADD, attention deficit disorder. But there is a strong downside. Millions of people live miserable lives with this affliction and don't even know they have it. It is most often misdiagnosed, especially in adults, and even more so in women. Adult ADD is, is not as common as the hyperactive type in children. And most kids outgrow ADD by puberty. But some, like me, don't, and we sort of fall in between the cracks. We are often classified as the troublemakers, the black sheep, the dreamers. ADD adults commonly become substance abusers, and the people who never seem to quite get it together to grow up, to settle down, or again like me, who are always into 15 different projects at once, often not finishing. I get away with it because, like a lot of other ADD artists, I'm just one of those crazy creative types. But many unfortunate ADD people end up frustrated and homeless on the streets, in prison, or worse, suicide victims. I hate to know how many potentially productive people could have been saved if only the majority of the psychiatric community would recognize this disorder in adults. I'm one of the lucky ones because I've been diagnosed and have finally found out who I am and now I'm at peace with it. It's what makes me different. It's what makes me an artist.